All right, hey guys, we're back. Hole number uh, six here we're setting up for, and I'm going to go Thor's Hammer and KM Ball. And what I suggest here for you guys is trying to go for that center fairway is going to be my shot of choice. Uh, I play very close to a max ring adjustment uh, for this shot. With a Thor's 4 uh, or a Thor's 5, for example, you know, you're really going to have to do pretty much everything you can just to get it to that fairway. Uh, it doesn't have as much curl as Apocalypse, so you really can't swing it and get it around with a little bit more momentum. So it is going to be a very hard skill shot to get this up into that center fairway um, with, the, uh, with the Thor Club. But what I like about it... Um, as I was able to get this, I have albatrossed it from the center fairway. Um, it is very easy, and it um, you know has a very straightforward um, way that it plays, and it just kind of comes up the hill at a straight angle. It makes the shot much easier. So I'm starting to realize why they put that fairway in there, um, because when you get to it, uh, it really shot. can give you a very nice, uh, easier eagle uh, albatross type approach. Any, no matter if you go to the right or the left here, the side hill, trying to anticipate the way it's going to come off the side hill, is far more harder. And that's why you're going to see me intentionally hit more of a skill shot here and try to force my hand, try to get it up to that uh, last fairway. So what you're going to see me do is I'm going to play kind of aggressively towards the edge of the bunker there, kind of like this. Um, aside from that, I will play very close to uh, my max ring adjustment, which is 1.7 per ring. So I'm going to go three and a half rings here for you guys. Um, be sure when you apply this curl that you're not adding any extra power because we can't, uh, we cannot uh, afford. To go any longer than max and here you can see ooh, and you can see I did cut that very close oh I put too much curl on it so it's gonna take me out of albatross chance um, so it is something that you're gonna have to you know keep in mind that uh, you know you keep, you do want to put that curl on there because it gives you an extra momentum but uh, you might want to come in just slightly you know that's my first approach uh, with a Thor 4 um, and uh, you know, I didn't know what it was going to look like, so, you know, I'll make the necessary revisions. So, for example, in that win case scenario, it would have been better if I did four full rings and if I would have set up a little bit more into the rough instead of right on the bunker's edge. <clears throat> but I would really try to mirror Great that shot. shot as executing, pulling it off is going to give you the best opportunity to get that eagle pick. And you're going to see here, worst case scenario... Um, even with the mistake that I made, we're still going to get we're still going to get home. So it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so here, even with a Nirvana four here, we're just going to play off the fairway here, and just you know very safely put it into the green somewhere. So what you're going to see me do use very little power. Uh, I'm going to play very close to two per ring, maybe. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, I might go into two rings of power here. Not very much. Um, more so than anything, I'm going to use my full, full curl. And as I mentioned, you know, not uh, get too carried away Great with shot. my uh, power because I don't want it to come in too hot. I almost actually got that to actually drop, which would have been really cool. But hopefully this falls off and stays on the fringe there. Uh, nope. So I'm going to have to pitch from the rough now. So, you know, something to, something to consider uh, might be worth, uh, you know, I, I only went long there by a yard or two, so it wasn't very much. Um, but when looking at what to do there, if you were to, you know, try to top spin that second hop into the very uh, rough edge, it would spin out into the fringe. It wouldn't give you a chance to make it, but it would uh, spin out into that front fringe if I was to come a little bit shorter. So it might be something for me to consider in the future. Um, I'm not too terribly worried about it. I don't need to qualify today. But uh, just something nice to see, just so you can see possible mistakes that can happen and what it's going to take to come out 
And as I was mentioning, you know, if I could make that second bounce land more on that fringe edge right there, um, it would just trickle out onto the, to the fringe there for an easy, easy pitch. But even from back here, you know, perfect it's just going to come down to perfect ball timing. You really don't even need to play the wind. Uh, you can see how low the ball trajectory is. Uh, I kept that shot arrow in the, uh, in the cup there. All you need to do is get your perfect ball and you'll still make it. It's not, uh, you know, it's not going to be, um, you know, a big deal. Uh, I do recommend getting aggressive on that hole. Um, as you can see, you know, the first thing, the, the biggest thing you can't do is your first ball, first bounce can't hit the rough. So the first thing we'll try to do is on any revisions that we do, um, we would just come in an extra ring. So for instance, if I played right on 1.7 per ring, um, you know, I'm going to do the 1.7 per ring again, but whatever my wind adjustment is, I'll just go one ring past that um, to, to ensure that that ball does not wind up, uh, you know, first hopping that rough. That's the only way we're going to make birdie there. Um, as soon as we fine tune those adjustments and make sure that Great we get shot. the uh, second shot onto the green foremost. <clears throat> and all things considered, that's not too bad. What did he use? Sniper? If that was a sniper shot, that's well executed. Uh, not the easiest thing to pull off with the sniper there. Um, should be able to easily beat it, especially with the side wind. Uh, what, I, what I recommend for, you know, if you have sniper and you get an easy win like this, uh, should be very easy to beat your opponent. Uh, you know, full, about four and a half... Uh, Four and a half spin or so here. And uh, aside from that, it is just basically playing one per ring. So if you play it very spot up, you know, 4.6 rings here. Uh, it's going to give you a, a great opportunity to um, not only Perfect win the shootout, shot. but get the hold in one. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> So good luck there, guys, with that sixth hole. Um, I wish you guys well. I think, uh, you know, all things considered, you're going to, uh, you know, find that that center fairway is the way to go. It's just going to be about honing that ring adjustment. We're just going to have to get the ball. We're going to have to start a little bit left on that drive and just kind of curl it over there. And you will see a revision come from me, and I'll do the best that I can to get it over there for you guys. So good luck there, and catch you guys on the next one.